Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is your sister Liz. I am here doing a video today that our Heavenly Father asked me to do about gossip. And in order to do this video, he brought to my remembrance something that happened when I was a child. So quickly, I want to pray. Heavenly Father, please allow me to speak using the Holy Spirit as my channel from you to me. Your, let it be your words, let it be my Savior's words that come through my mouth and not my own. And I glorify you now, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, so brothers and sisters, uh, the situation that I was thinking about was when I was a kid, and uh, I was an overweight kid. I wasn't really fat, fat, but I was chunky enough to be teased in school. And it wasn't fun, because kids are unkind, and they always, at that point, age really are looking to tease somebody so I got teased and you know it was very embarrassing I, I, it used to be stressful at certain times too and so one day uh, a, another child was in my class and she was obese um, I'll never forget her her name was Melissa and so when Melissa was in the class all of a sudden I felt better about myself because now I was actually able to tease somebody else. I was actually able to uh, talk about her and I did talk about her behind her back about how fat she was. Why? Because I could. It made me feel better about myself. It took the focus off of me. It took the focus off of what everybody had been so focused on that was hurting me and now bring this full circle to to adults I think it's it's very much the same I think people who gossip are doing it because ultimately they they want to feel better about themselves they want to take the focus off of themselves and they don't care if they smash somebody else's reputation to do it. They will make up things. They will um, not even check to see if things are true. Uh, the minute they grab onto some kind of juicy piece of information, they run with it. It makes them feel better about themselves. These people are lost, my friends. We have to pray for them. I want you to pray for these people that do this. They need our help because these people are under a curse. They are under a curse because the sin of gossip is a serious sin. God hates gossip. God hates muttering, walking around, complaining. God hates that as well. Please pray for these people, okay? They need it. So in Jesus' name, I'm going to now lead us in a prayer. Heavenly Father, I want to pray for those out there who are engaging in this in this sin of gossip. They don't realize, some of them, that it is a sin. Uh, it is very easy, Father, to get caught up in gossip. I have done it myself at times and occasionally still almost do get caught up in it, but thankfully the Holy Spirit always alerts me when I am <laughs> about to engage and I can thankfully catch myself. I pray that these other people will as well, Father. Um, I pray that you come into their lives and and show them show them put, shed some light father upon upon what's going on please shed some light on the darkness because the darkness is leading them onto that wide and broad path that Jesus spoke about that many are on that leads to destruction friends get on the straight and narrow path that leads to life that Jesus talked about he said few are on it it the way is narrow and difficult and few are on it, but it leads to life and it leads to him. Heavenly Father, please let us all get on this narrow path. I, I thank you, Father. You, you are my awesome Father, and I want to glorify you. I want to thank you, and I love you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, get on the narrow path. I love you. God loves you. Bye now.